This lesson will cover how to use the Tidier package in R. Tidier makes it easy to tidy your data, making it easier to work with. We'll describe the four main functions of Tidier. And to start, we will install the package. After your package is finished installing, we'll access it through the library function. All right, first we will look at the function separate. Separate splits a single column into multiple columns, which we may want to do when multiple variables are captured in a single column variable. Let's look at our data set about our awesome selves, team names. And we can use the function separate to divide our hometown column into two columns, one for city and a second for state. The first parameter is the data set we're looking at which is team names. The second is the column in our data set we want to separate, hometown. The third is what we want to name the two new columns that we are separating hometown into. Let's name them city and state. The last parameter is indicating that we want to cut the element when there is a comma. Then we run it. Notice now we have two new columns named city and state that were created by separating the elements of hometown when there was a comma. The complement of the separate function is the function unite. As the name suggests, this takes multiple columns and combines the elements into a single column. Going back to the same data set, say we want to combine the first name and last name columns. We can use unite as follows. The first parameter is defining which data set we're using, which is team names again. The second parameter is the name of the new column being created, which we can call name. The third parameter is the columns that we wish to unite, first name and last name. And then the last parameter is specifying that we want to put a space between the elements of each column once they're united in the single column and then we run that. Now we have a single column named name that contains the elements of first name and last name with a space between them. For the next couple of functions we're looking at a data set called home runs which has the total home runs of three baseball players from the last three seasons. This next function we'll examine is the gather function which we can use to stack the three year columns and have a single column for home runs and a single year column. We can use gather as follows and save it as a new data frame called home runs 2 that we'll use later. And the first argument is the data set, which is home runs. The second argument is the new variable year. And the third argument is the home runs for each player for each year. And the last argument is the columns that we're stacking. And we run this. And we look at the home runs to data frame. And as you can see, we have two new columns of home runs um, and a year column for each player. This last function we're examining is the spread function. This does the opposite of gather, meaning it turns stacked data of the same attributes and spreads it across multiple columns, or unstacks it. The syntax for the code is as follows. The first argument is the dataset, home runs 2. The second argument is the column to spread across multiple columns, which is year column. The last argument is the values that the multiple columns take, which would be home runs. And we run that, and we see we are back to the original data set, home runs. And there you have it, the four main functions of the Tidier package in R. For more information on the Tidier package, click on the link below. And if you like this video, feel free to comment and subscribe to our channel for more R tutorials.